Hey guys, it's Joan from Your Illustrator How. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, you are going to learn probably one of the most important things in Adobe Illustrator, which is vectorizing an image. So yeah, you can use this method to turn any hand drawing text into a vector, and you can also obviously turn any of the hand drawing, line drawing, or even an image into a vector in Adobe Illustrator. So if that sounds interesting to you, please keep watching this video. Now, how about let's turn a hand drawing into a vector drawing. In this case, you do have to have a hand drawing ready. You can uh, simply click and drag the image into Adobe Illustrator and you can choose to embed it or simply yeah, leave it as it is. And then I'm going to open the layers panel because I want to have the drawing in a new layer and then I want to lock the background layer so that I don't move it or edit it by accident. So I'm going to go ahead and click the create new layer bottom to create a new layer and I'm going to name it line drawing. Then I'm going to select layer one, which is the image layer. And then I'm just going to bring down the opacity so that you can see the line tracing the pen to path a bit easier. And then I'm going to lock the layer by clicking on the lock icon next to layer one, the background layer. And now I'm going to select the line drawing layer and use either brushes or pencil or the pen tool to trace the outline. I would recommend you to start with the pen tool to trace like the basic outline and then use a brush tool to add any details to the hand drawing. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the toolbar and choose the pen tool. And now you can start tracing the outline. Once you have the outline pretty much done, you can always use the direct selection tool to edit the path to make it smoother or to just make them a little bit more perfect. So yeah, go ahead and finalize your line drawing or to add or edit any details that you want. You can also go to the stroke from the appearance panel from under properties and then change the stroke style choose a um, stroke color in this case yellow you can always um, choose a stroke style the profile i mean and then to make the line looks a little bit more alive instead of the basic line if you're interested in learning how to use the stroke profile in adobe illustrator to make your drawing a little bit more dynamic you can learn more about how to create line drawing um, in my beginner's course Okay, now let's take a look at how to vectorize text in Adobe Illustrator. All you need to do is, first of all, obviously create a hand drawing version of the font. If you do have very clear lines, you can actually go ahead and try to use the image trace feature to see if that works. That didn't work out so well. I'm going to try six colors. You can kind of see the font, but no, I wouldn't say that it's the method that works for me because if I expand that, ungroup everything, and if I delete everything, no, it's just too much work. And then the, the, as you can see, the outline isn't very clear. So I would say that it, it really only works on images that has very, very clear outline. So in my case, it doesn't work. So I'm just going to give up on that. So I'm going to go ahead and use the pen tool. Well, actually, I can also use a circle in my case, since I do have kind of a circle shape here. Then I'm going to just make it. Well, I'm going to get rid of the the fill color for now so that um, you can see the outlines yeah and then it's very important to um, zoom in so that you can see the artwork clearly and actually it will be a good idea to also create a new layer for your path so you can choose a pen tool or in this case you can also choose brushes in if, if your um, hand drawing is more like a freehand style so you can use the brushes it will work best if you have a graphic tablet. Yeah, I, I know the line doesn't look like a font for now because later on you will be editing the, the stroke style and the brush style as well if you use this method. But I'm just going to use a pen tool. 
Again, it doesn't have to look perfect since we can always use the editing tools to make the line smoother or adjust the, and the path. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and grab the direct selection tool and start adjusting the line, zooming in a little bit more. Okay, so once you get something like this, then you can go ahead and unite. And I'm going to erase this part a little bit. If you're not familiar with the eraser tool in Adobe Illustrator, uh, you can find the tutorial in the description below. Okay, so that's pretty much it if you zoom out. Yeah, it looks okay. To switch the color to see how it looks. So yeah, maybe this part I can add it a little bit more, but yeah, just showing you an idea of how to vectorize text in Adobe Illustrator. I know this image already kind of looks like a vector image to you, however it's not, and how would you know that? I mean, for example, if you click on that, you don't see the outlines around the image. As you can see, if you move this image out of the white background, it has a white background. So how do we vectorize this vector looking image in Adobe Illustrator? The easiest way is using the image trace. I mean, if the image is not so complicated, the image trace is always the quickest and the best option. Well, it's super convenient here since I already have kind of the toolbar here with the image trace option. Well, I'm going to duplicate the image holding option and I'm just going to drag it right next to the, the original image. And then I'm going to click image trace. Okay, the default is black and white. No, I'm going to just go to um, the properties panel on the quick actions, image trace, and I'm going to choose. If you want the image to be super, super similar to the original image, the best option will be high fidelity photo. Otherwise, you can choose how many color you want to show on the image. In this case, I guess I can also choose 16 colors since um, this vector or I mean this image doesn't have that many colors. So I'm going to choose 16. Oh, well, it did remove a little bit of the original image. No, I'm just going to choose, um, go back and choose high fidelity photo. Okay, if you zoom in, you can see that it's almost 100% the same. However, it's not. Well, if you zoom in, you can see that this um, original image is already a little bit pixelated. And when you vectorize the image, the line is like super smooth. Once you hit the image trace option, you will go back to the quick action and click expand. And you will see the outlines around the image. As I mentioned before, when your image is a raster, you wouldn't see the outlines along the image. And when it's vector, you can see all these like blue lines. Um, along the image, where, which means that you can edit the parts. Okay, so I'm just going to ungroup and you can select the white background and hit the delete key. Oh, this is annoying. Try later. Delete key. And then you can select any part of the image and change the color, for example. Yeah, so this is what it does when you vectorize the image, you are able to edit the part separately. And you can also use the any of the vector tools to edit the path. Let's say you want to make it well just in random example. So yeah, that's how you vectorize an image in Adobe Illustrator using the image trace option. Otherwise, you can just use the same method as I mentioned earlier about um, vectorizing maybe hand drawing or um, handwritten text from a picture and things like that using the pen tool. All right, so if you're interested to learn more about how to vectorize text, I do have an article showing you a couple of ways, I mean, three ways to convert text into vector shape in Adobe Illustrator. And obviously, if you want to vectorize an image, I also have an article I'm showing you how to vectorize image using Adobe Illustrator. And obviously, image trace is always the best option when your background is simple or in the case of when you're vectorizing text, the text line is uh, very clear. And then if you want to learn more about 
how to use image trays in Adobe Illustrator. Obviously, I have an article as well. All right, so you will find the links to all these articles in the description below. All right, so hope you really enjoyed this video. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel.